It's a day for kids to get dirty and parents to be kids again. We're here in St. Catharines at the Kids Ultimate Challenge. Kids Ultimate Challenge is a fundraiser for the Children's Health Unit of Niagara Health System. It's a one kilometer obstacle course for kids ages 4 to 13. They're going to they're out here today at the at the park. They're going to start their obstacle course soon. There's about uh, I think 14 obstacles. It's one kilometer. The favorite one is of course the mud pit. Um, but we have them crawling under things, climbing over things. Um, they they go out into the forested area and then the mud pit is there and everybody has a chance to go through that get a little wet and dirty and then the firemen are at the finish line and they're going to hose them down. So that's the obstacle for the kids. The obstacle for you is how do you get 900 kids through this course today? Sure, well with a lot of volunteers. So this year we actually had the most amount of volunteers we've ever had. Just over 100 are here helping us today. Um, and really that's what makes this, this work. We have a fantastic committee that helps us throughout the year get this organized. And the volunteers really help us out today. Money from the Kids Ultimate Challenge goes to support the Children's Health Unit at the St. Catharines Hospital. We're very fortunate for them to come and help us out. We've bought um, several pieces of expensive equipment with the money that's been raised here and it's just been thrilling that they've been able to help the unit out. It's helped the kids in our community a lot. Now tell me about the piece of equipment that we have here on display here today. So I brought a vein viewer which is the purchase that we bought last year. It's quite an expensive piece of equipment but babies and children have very small tiny veins and it can be very hard for the doctors and nurses to start an IV. So the vein viewer uses ultraviolet light and it shows the veins on the kids and, and the children so that they don't have to be poked as much and they can, uh, they can get a successful IV start. It's wonderful that the foundation and the volunteers and the staff and the participants all come together for the kids in our community because I really think it's important that um, money raised in our community benefits our, our own hospital. So helpful to our unit that we get the money raised. Jake, congratulations on being the top fundraiser of this year. How did you raise over $2,000? Well, I couldn't have done it without my parents and my family and my friend's help for sponsoring me and, um, and helping with this good um, fundraising. How did you train for the Kids Ultimate Challenge? I didn't actually train, I just ran. <laughs> and what were your favorite obstacles? My favorite obstacle might have been the one that at the beginning um, and then the yeah and then the mud pit. Now Mac it was obviously a, a fun time that you and your brother had today but why were you running today? F to sponsor money for the children's hospital. It's a fantastic charity isn't it? Yes. What are some of your favorite obstacles from today's course? Um, the mud pit. Did you fall in? Yes. What did it feel like? Uh, sod What's the victory? Were you promised anything by mom and dad? No. No, I'm just going to make sure my mom and dad get muddy. Now this is the fourth annual Kids Ultimate Challenge that you've hosted. Uh, how successful is this event? Is it bigger than you thought it would be and where it's going from here? It keeps growing year after year. So last year we had 700 kids, this year 900. Uh, we're amazed, We've actually, we sold out two weeks ago. So the kids keep coming back, which is great. Um, keep fundraising, which is fantastic for us as well. Uh, you know, we hope that kids keep coming back year after year and keep having fun. That's what we're here to, to help them do. 900 kids across the region took the Kids Ultimate Challenge. They raised a lot of money and had a great time. Reporting for The Source, I'm Bob. I ran the course three times and didn't get a medal. Romeo.